Mr. Crockett. Yes, sir. You gotta be kidding me. The hell does he want? We got nothing to say to each other. See him. Marty. He may have a lead on the tip. Good to see you. Say it, Frank. There's no need for hard feelings, Crockett. I've made my peace. I know why I'm here. Why'd you ask me to come here? A man's right. Faces accusers. Not many people have the luxury of knowing the exact hour of their death. I'm losing interest. You didn't put me here. I want you to know that. There'll come a time when you'll ask for forgiveness to make your peace with God. And I want you to remember that I don't hold you accountable. Now, that's dang nice of you, Frank. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> I didn't kill Frankel. I did kill other people. You don't know about it. The way I figured it. That's what I'm dying for. So I'm totally prepared. And I've accepted my death. That's just. I'm telling you this so now or later, you ought not to feel any guilt. That's kind of ironic, don't you think? I go out for one I didn't do. Still say you were in Daytona? It doesn't matter. None of it does. When your days get down to single digits, your mind gets amazingly clear. You begin to understand the balance. I'm going to a better place, honey. Thanks for coming up.